Welcome to Honey Bee Cooking. I am your host, Honey Bee Cool. And today, I am not in the best of spirits, uh, but I have a task that I have to complete because I'm cooking for a repast, my sister's repast. My older sister passed away last week and um, got to make some food for tomorrow's services. So the food needs to be vegetarian, and or vegan so i'm gonna pull through this and let's get busy so my first task that i'm filming and probably the only thing i'm gonna film is i'm gonna make a big ziti but i'm gonna use the impossible beef it's made from plants only um so it's vegan I have the ziti, okay? And then I have some onions to go in the impossible uh, meat. We have our meat sauce. We're gonna use a uh, prego, chunky tomato and onion and garlic. We got our diced uh, tomatoes. We have fresh basil. Y'all know I love my basil flakes. Uh, that's gonna go in there too, but this is fresh basil. Um, I'm going to use some cream cheese because I would normally put ricotta cheese in it. And of course, you can't use ricotta cheese. I'm going to top it with some tomatoes, fresh tomatoes. Uh, and then we just have our seasonings. We have our uh, all-purpose seasoning. We have basil. Our basil flakes. Can't forget to say that. Uh, we have our garlic. We have some lari seasoning salt uh, and some pepper. And we're just gonna get started by putting a little oil in the pan and opening our meat. Our impossible meat. So here we have it open and we're gonna flavor it up. Oh, and turn down the heat. I've used this before and it's really good. I've never made a big ziti, but there's a first time for everything. We're gonna add our onions because this meat does cook fast. And we're gonna add some seasoning. My basil flakes, a little bit of pepper, and we have some um, roasted garlic in the oven. We're going to add that to it because that will give it some nice flavor. I forgot to mention we have cheese, mozzarella shreds by Via Life. Uh, it is 100% vegan, okay? Very nice roasted garlic, okay? It's hot. 
Okay. So we're going to give this a little taste to make sure that it has some flavor to it. Gonna give it a little taste. See what it tastes like. That's good. Really good. They're gonna love it. We're gonna add the whole can of diced tomatoes. I think we're ready to add our sauce. So we're just gonna do about half the bottle. Quick meal. Okay. It's thick, so we might wanna add a little uh, vegetable stock. That will give it more flavor. Can't use chicken bouillon, so we use some vegetable stock. It's unsalted, so we just add about uh, a half a cup of that just to loosen it up a little bit. Okay, we're going to add more sauce to it as well, but we want this to simmer for a little while so those flavors get in there. I stole a bunch of spoons from Plyo Bowl. Ooh, now I can taste. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That is so good. Mmm. We're just going to add it with the olive oil. It doesn't, won't matter. Okay. That'll give it some nice garlic flavor. Just like in anything else, yes, sugar goes in it. One tablespoon, that should be enough. And now we're gonna let this simmer for about 15 minutes or so. Let it soak up the flavors. So my mind is going to taste our uh, meat sauce our plant-based meat sauce and tell us what she truly thinks. I don't think it's hot anymore. Huh, it is hot. That is good. Okay. More than good, amazing. Okay, great. Thank you, my my. You're welcome. So I'm pouring it over the noodles. And I'm going to toss it around. Oh, it's hot. Mm. sauce. We'll save a little bit for the top. So I need to taste it first. Okay, 
it's not bad. It's different, but it will add some creaminess to the dish. So we're gonna add one at least. And see how it looks, since we don't have ricotta cheese. We might add the other one. After we add this one, we'll see how it tastes. Um, pack of the Goya salad and vegetable. And some basil flakes. another half of the um, cream cheese you know I'll save this for a bagel or something see how that turns out um, and so now uh, I just really need to lay this out in a pan I'm gonna put it in small pans because I don't want to carry a big pan uh, Okay, so we're going to transfer it over here. We're going to layer some cheese on top and call it a day. the tomatoes we will put them on top like this we we're gonna cut that down a little bit more just make it look nice and pretty we'll put a little parsley flakes oh we might need more tomatoes because we want at least nine on there and we don't want those <music> I'm tired I'm going to bed just a little taste with the cheese that's not melted mm. 
you would love it. So delicious. It's not even, it's room temperature, but it's not hot. Mm. But very good, nice flavors. Very good. Be sure to like, subscribe, and if you like what you see here, please share. We'd love to have you and even have you over for a meal. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. Well, child, I'll tell you, life for me ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor. Bare, but all the time, I've been a climbing on and reaching bandings and turn corners and sometimes going in the dark where ain't been no light. So child, don't you turn back. Don't you sit down on the steps cause you'll find it's kinda hard. Don't you fall now for I still going honey. I'm still coming, and life for me ain't been no crystal spare.